We all know that online dating is one of the worst things that you can do. Unfortunately, that doesn't stop some people. This is always a big mistake. Sometimes, people have to go through a lot of trouble to learn a lesson. And unfortunately, sometimes people aren't who they say they are, and things don't go to plan. This is the true story of the online daters. Hey Billy, what's going on? Uh, nothing Tib, how's your day going? Well, it's kinda going good. But look, I got a secret I have to tell you. And you gotta promise me you're not gonna tell anybody. Alright, what's, what's the secret? You know I won't tell. Look, I know this is wrong, and I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm online dating. What? Oh my gosh, how could you do that? Do you know how dangerous that is? It's so bad. Look, I can't help it, okay? This girl seems so cool, and she's so nice. I think I'm falling for her. Don't be so stupid. How could you do this to yourself? I mean, how do you even know it's her? I don't know. I just know, okay? It doesn't make any sense. This isn't something that I planned to do. It just kind of happened. Well, look, you need to be really careful, okay? Online dating is no joke. I know I do. But look, I'm supposed to meet her soon. And I'm a little nervous. Yeah, you should be nervous. I mean, this is one of the worst things that you could possibly do. I can't believe you're going through with this. It's like I don't have a choice. Something's pulling me towards her. I just feel like she might be the one. Well, whatever she is, be careful, man. This doesn't sound good. All right, I'll do my best. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, sounds good. Let's go to class. I'm so nervous. I wonder when Petunia is going to get here. Or if she's even going to show up. Man, this might have been a terrible idea. What am I doing? Boo! <laughs> Did I scare you? Oh, my gosh. Petunia, yeah, yeah, you scared me. How's it going? Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad to finally meet you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've been waiting all day to meet you. I'm so, so excited. I can't believe you're finally here. Oh my God, we're going to do so many great things. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think we're going to have a really great time getting to know each other. So what do you want to do first? Hmm, let's see. Um, well, when two people are in love, they like to go out to eat, and I think that'd be awesome. And oh my gosh, um, I'm really hungry. Hmm, what do I want? Uh, I, I want a, a, a burger. A burger. Yeah, I really want a burger. How, how about you buy me one right now? Yes, I'm hungry. Oh, I could go for a burger. Wait, in love? We just met. We can't be in love yet. We gotta get to know each other. What are you talking about? We are in love. I know everything about you. Oh, really? Um, I didn't know it worked like that. Well, yeah, I can find everything out about whoever I want, and you are the person I'm dating, and I need to know everything about who I'm dating. Uh, okay, alright, I guess you're right then. I mean, I've just never had a girlfriend before, so I don't know. Um, so what do you want to do then? Do you want to go get that burger? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yes, I want to go get that burger. It'll be so great, and we'll have so much fun because we're in love. <laughs> uh, yeah, sounds great. Billy, I gotta talk to you, man. Oh, hey, Tim, what's going on? How was your date? Well, I gotta be honest with you, it was really weird. I mean, I just met her, but I, I, I think we're in love. She said that we were in love, and I don't know, I'm really confused. What? That sounds really, really weird. I don't think you guys are in love, you just met. Well, I know. I don't know, do you think that there's something wrong with her? Well, yeah, obviously she was online dating and she was acting weird. There's definitely something wrong with her. Uh, what was that? Did I hear you say that there was something wrong with me? <laughs> oh, hey, how did you get here? I didn't know you went to the school. And yeah, obviously there's something wrong. I mean, you guys just met. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm in love and that's it. Uh, whoa, all right. Why is your voice changing like that? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. My voice doesn't change at all. I mean, this is just who I am. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I don't really know what to say here, but 
I guess I hope you guys are happy? Yeah, we will be happy. No thanks to you. I can't believe you'd hang out with somebody like this. Someone who would deny that we're in love and don't want us to succeed. I don't think he's saying that. I think he's just watching out for us. You know what? Go. Leave. Get out of here. I don't want to see you right now. Oh man, what a long day. I can't wait to go to sleep. Whoa, what are you doing here? Tim, we need to talk. Oh, Petunia, you're kind of scaring me. What's going on? Why are you in my house? I'm concerned about your friend, that weird kid, Billy. Oh, what's wrong with Billy? He's my best friend in the whole world. I don't think that there's any issue with him. I think the issue is he's lonely, and that's why he's so mean to us. He's jealous of what we have. I don't know if he's lonely. He seems like he's got a lot of friends. Shut up and listen to me. You know I'm right. I don't really think it's any of my business. He hasn't mentioned it to me. Look, my friend is going to message him tonight, and they're going to start online dating, and you need to convince him to online date with her for the rest of his life. What? No, that doesn't sound like something he's going to want to do. I just don't think he's going to go for it. Fine. This is over. I hate you. I never want to see you again. Wait, Petunia, I'm sorry. I mean, all right, I guess I could talk to him. Just please don't leave. <laughs> leave you, silly? Oh my gosh, I would never leave you. We're in love, remember? In love. <laughs> Billy, Billy, this is not good. Ah, Tib, what's going on? You look really scared. Billy, I don't know if she's listening, but last night, Petunia broke into my house, and she was telling me that I have to set you up with her friend, and that you guys have to online date. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? That makes no sense. I don't want to online date with anybody. It's a terrible idea. Look how it's working out for you. I know, I told her that you probably didn't want to, and then she told me that she hated me, and that she was gonna leave. Well, that's perfect, then you just got out of it. No, but there was something, I couldn't say no. I, I wanted to, I know that it's, I shouldn't be doing this, but I couldn't say no. Look, you gotta be really, really careful, Tib. This is not good. She sounds like she's evil or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if she's evil. I think maybe she's just a little strange. Maybe she just doesn't have a lot of friends and now she's learning, you know, how to make friends. I don't know. This sounds bad. I think we need to get a teacher and get some help. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we should go find a teacher. I mean, if we go to the school and they're there, they'll be able to help us out and give us some good advice. All right, let's go. Mr. Greed, are you here? Uh, Tim, it doesn't look like anybody's here. This is weird. Why are there nobody at the school? I don't know. I have a really bad feeling about this. Something seems off. I know. Usually there's somebody hanging around. We haven't even seen the janitor or the principal, and they're usually here for, like, super long time. Well, I mean, it is getting kind of late. Maybe, maybe they took an early day or something, you know? Maybe they wanted to go home and relax. Yeah, I guess that's true, but it's a bummer because I feel like a teacher would be the best person to talk to right now. Yeah, that's true. Well, as much as you don't want to do this, I think we need to tell your parents. No, 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 I can't tell my mom and dad. I'll be grounded if they find out that I'm online dating. Well, maybe that's what you need right now, mister. All right? You've been over here online dating. You created this huge mess. And now you're dragging me into it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I should have listened to you all along. Oh, man, I just hope my mom and dad can help me get out of this. Mom! Dad! Where is everybody? Oh my gosh, where's all my stuff? Your stuff is my stuff now, Tim. Petunia, what are you doing? Where's my mom and dad, and where is all my stuff? It's not nice how you've been treating me, Tim. 
I really think we should talk about this, Tim. No, this is messed up. You can't just steal all of my stuff. And tell me, what did you do with my mom and dad? I need to find them. You don't need to worry about them right now, Tim. You need to focus on us and our relationship. No, this has gone too far, Petunia. I don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore. This is so messed up. Ugh, I should have never online dated. What did you just say? I just told you, I don't want to be with you anymore. This obviously isn't healthy. You have no choice in this. Oh, you're going to be real sorry, Tim. Real sorry. No, I'm done with this. I'm out of here. Leave me alone. Get back here, Tim. You need to get back here or else. Billy! Billy! Hey, who are you? I, I'm Lily. Oh, it, it's you, Tim. Hi, Tim. What are you doing in my friend's house? Where is Billy? Well, uh, Billy is not here right now, and it's just me and you. <laughs> and you know what? I have a few words for you, Tim. Uh, I heard that you were the one who told Billy that we shouldn't online date, and I don't really think that's fair. Yeah, I don't. This whole thing is messed up. You and your friend Petunia need to leave all of us alone, please. Well, you know what's really messed up, Tim? You know, you're the one who ruined my life with Billy, and then you broke my friend's heart, and that's just horrible. You, you really shouldn't be doing that. Whatever. You guys are messed up. You took my friend, my parents, and all my stuff. I don't know what to do. Well, you know what? We're sure gonna get our revenge on you! Just you wait and see! Where's Billy? Tell me! <laughs> well, you'll see soon enough! <laughs> I'm out of here! No! I'm gonna find him! Somebody! Mr. Green! Anyone! Principal Sanders! Is anybody here? Please, I need help! <laughs> you need help? <laughs> I'm here to help you! <laughs> no! Petunia, you stay away from me! You caused this whole mess! Why are you doing this? You're like evil or something! Yes, you're right. <laughs> I am evil. I've always been evil. What do you want from me? Please leave me alone! I'm gonna destroy everything in your life. Everything you've ever loved will be gone. Everything you ever cared about will be gone. Everything. Your life is going to be destroyed. <laughs> no, please stop. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt my friends or my family. Why? Please. You're pathetic. Be quiet. Stop crying. No, I'm not letting you do this. I'm getting out of here. I'm finding everybody and I'm gonna stop you. There is nowhere to hide. I will find you. Man, I haven't heard from my girlfriend online all day. I really want to talk to her. I should go check my profile and see if she's around. Hi, Brayden. I just wanted to let you know that I can't do this anymore. What? She's breaking up with me? Because she cheated on me? What the heck? No, I can't believe this! You're never gonna guess what happened! Yeah, dude, I already know. Wait, how do you know? Well, uh, I'm the one that broke you guys up. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Well, I logged into your dating profile and told your girlfriend that you were dating someone in real life. Why would you do that? I'm not dating anyone. I loved her. Well, not anymore, dude. Online dating is dangerous, okay? I'm just looking out for you, man. I can't believe you do something like that. I'm so mad. Yeah, well, it's for your own good, dude. You know what? Whatever. I don't need this, okay? All I wanted was somebody to come home and talk to 
helped you and you messed it all up. Yeah, well, it's better to talk to people in real life, man. Oh my gosh, whatever. I still can't believe Milo would do this. Why would he break into my dating profile just like that and lie to that girl? Who cares if I'm online dating? It's none of his business. I mean, geez, people don't like me as much in real life. I'm awkward and shy, but online I can be whoever I want to be. Let me see if she's still online. Maybe I can try to smooth things over. No! Oh man, she's not there. She's completely gone. She must have blocked me. Stupid Milo, dude. How could you have done this? I'm so angry. Wait, a new message from Jewel. Wow, Jewel looks really pretty. Let me say something to her. Hey, Jewel, what's up? Oh my gosh, she responded back like right away. You know what? Maybe I wasn't supposed to be with that other girl. Maybe I was supposed to be with Jewel. Milo's so smart. He knew that I wasn't supposed to be with her and I was supposed to find somebody else. <laughs> oh man, Jewel, you're so funny. Uh, hey. Oh, I gotta go. Hey, Milo, what's up? Hey, man, look, I'm really sorry for what I did yesterday. I, I shouldn't have gone behind your back and done that. I I'm just worried, man. I've heard horror stories about online dating. Well, I really appreciate your concern, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what an awesome text. She's so funny. Oh, what's so funny, man? And who are you talking about? Well, I started talking to this new girl online yesterday named Jewel, and she's awesome. Dude, stop dating people online. How do you even know that's a real person? Oh, shut up, dude. You're just being jealous. No, I'm not being jealous. Have you set up an actual date? Yeah, I set up a date over the weekend. Dude, I don't know. That sounds like really sketchy, though. I mean, how do you even know that this Jewel person is real? What if it's like some creepy person? Jeez, man, you're just being so worried. What is your problem? My problem is I'm worried about my friend, man. I don't want to see you make stupid mistakes. Yeah, well, they're my mistakes to make, Brayden, okay? Why don't you just shut up? Fine, whatever, dude. This is the restaurant that a jewel agreed to meet me at. I can't believe it. I'm getting nervous. Well, hopefully she likes me. Wonder if she's inside already. All right, I'm just gonna go in. Hi, welcome to the grill. How can I help you? Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for somebody. I'm going on to a date and I'm just trying to find her. Uh, her name is Jewel. Oh, how sweet. A date. Uh, no one's been in here looking for someone, but if you'd like, we can, uh, Get you seated, and you can wait for her there. Okay, sure, yeah, I'll wait. So, uh, Brayden, you've had a lot of Bloxy Colas. Do you think this girl's ever gonna show up? I don't know, I texted her a bunch and she still hasn't responded. Oh no, uh... Hate to tell you this, but I, I see this all the time. What do you mean? Sorry, but I think you got stood up. I don't think this girl's ever gonna come, and I hate to say it, but if you're not gonna order, you're gonna have to leave. <sighs> you know, I'm fine. You're probably right. I I'll get out of your way. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh, how was your date, Brayden? <sighs> there was no date. Jewel never showed up. It's because Jewel probably never existed, dude. Don't you get it? I don't know. Maybe you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. I mean, her and I really hit it off. We were having a great time. I don't understand what happened. Cuz, dude, meeting people online is sketchy. Don't you get that? She's probably gonna rob you or something, man. It can be dangerous. You never know who you're gonna meet online. <sighs> I guess, man. I don't know. Dude, I'm telling you right now. You never know. She could have been a crazy person. Maybe they were actually there watching you, but it wasn't Jewel at all. It was someone else. All right, now you're just freaking me out. Well, yeah, I'm glad because that's what I'm trying to tell you from the beginning, but you don't get it. Well, I get it now. I mean, I got shown up again. Oh my gosh, how could I be so stupid? Look, don't bother yourself with that, man. All right, I'm really sorry you had a bad night. It's just... 
it's probably for your own good. You know what I mean? Like, just, just, it's fine. You know, it's all right. I know that you're against this whole thing, and uh, I'm sure you're happy that, <laughs> that it worked out this way. Well, I never want to see my friend upset. Well, I appreciate that, man, but I'm just going to go up to my room and chill out. I'm just, like, so over today. All right, man. No worries. Oh, man. All right. It was just one bad date. People have bad dates all the time. It's fine, right? I don't know. I think I need to listen to Milo. Maybe I should stop online dating. Maybe I should just go on and delete my profile and just end it all. All right. Let's see. Ooh, a new message from someone named Tracy? Wow, she's really pretty. I can't believe a girl like that would ever message me. Uh, hey, Tracy. Oh my gosh, she said, what's up? Uh, nothing. Not having the greatest day, but it's getting better now that I'm talking to you. No, wait, I gotta stop this. I shouldn't date online anymore, but man, she's really pretty and she does seem interested. <sighs> Whatever, man. I'll just send her another message and see what happens. Hey man, what kind of blocks the age should I get? Dude, are you even paying attention? Yeah, yeah, just get the cheddar cheese, not the American. I'm not asking about cheese, man. Who are you texting? You haven't stopped since we left the house an hour ago. Uh, I'm sorry. I was just texting this girl, Tracy, that I met. Well, that's good. Where did you meet her? Um, I met her online. Dude, oh my gosh, again? <sighs> How many times do I have to break you up with these people? Wait, what are you talking about break me up with these people? Yeah, man, I've been messaging everybody trying to get them to not date you. So wait, Jewel was your fault too? No, I actually never talked to Jewel, but all the other ones, man. I've been trying to sabotage this. You can't keep doing this. How dare you stand in the way of my love life? It's not a real love life, man. You're just living in a fantasy world. You don't know anything, okay? I was gonna delete my profile, but then I met Tracy and we had so much in common and she was so pretty and you know what, man? Whatever. I don't want to hear this, okay? Good luck. Get stood up. Get catfish whatever but i'm done all right i'm not gonna try to break you up with your stupid girlfriends anymore but when it doesn't work out don't come crying to me <sighs> wow you know what that's messed up dude just shut up dude i'll go finish the shopping by myself fine whatever i don't want to shop anyway <laughs> Hey man, what are you doing? I'm going to meet Tracy in the park today. Oh man, I can't believe you're actually going through with this mess again. Look, I'm in love with Tracy, okay? And I don't care what you think. Dude, you're not in love with her, okay? I'm your best friend and I just don't want to see you get hurt again. You have no idea who this girl really is. How could you be sure that she loves you? I just know it, okay? We have a connection. A connection that like nobody else in the world could ever have. Yeah, but it's fake, man. It's a connection online. You've never seen her in person. Have you even FaceTimed? No, I haven't FaceTimed with her, okay? I want it to be special the first time that we meet. We just have a lot of chemistry and you're jealous. Dude, for the last time, I'm not jealous. I meet girls in real life and it's great because I know who they are and they're not some sketchy person that I met online that might like break into my house and rob me or something or even worse, kidnap me. She would never do that to me, okay? Didn't you understand that we love each other? You know what, man? Whatever. Just keep your phone on. If stuff gets weird, just text me. Let me know so I can call the cops. <sighs> Whatever, dude. It's not going to get weird. Just shut up. Oh, man. I'm a little nervous. What if I get stood up again like that last girl? Hi, Brayden. Uh, uh, who, who are you? How do you know my name? It's me, Teresa. I've been looking so forward to meeting you, Brayden. Oh, wait. I thought you said your name was Tracy, and, and you don't look like anything in your pictures. Teresa? Tracy? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter now, does it? I'm so happy that you're here. Wait, no, this is weird. You lied to me, first of all, and why are you acting so strange? Well, <laughs> I... 
I have a secret for you. You also might know me as Jewel. I've just been really, really wanting to get to know you. You seem so awesome, Brayden. And I really am happy that you're my boyfriend. What? No, I'm not. I'm not your boyfriend. No, I don't even know you. You might not know me yet, but I know you. <laughs> I was watching you at the restaurant. Wait, what? No, 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 no. This is too weird. I'm out of here. But wait, Brayden! I love you! So how'd it go? Well, it didn't go well. She definitely was pretending to be somebody else. She sent me pictures that weren't her, and it wasn't even her name, man. It's so sketchy. Told you, dude. Stuff like that happens all the time. You're just lucky that you got out of there while you can. Yeah, and you were right, man. She said that she was at the restaurant watching me. Dude, that's some creepy stuff. You should definitely call the cops because she might start stalking you. Yeah, she might. I don't know, dude. Luckily, I didn't tell her anything about where I lived or whatever, but I definitely have to delete that dating app. App. I changed my number and my email address everything just so she can't contact me again Well, I'm sorry. I came down to that man, but I'm happy you finally learned your lesson, dude That's why I've been trying to break you up with all these girls from the beginning. I know you were just doing the right thing Yeah, I know but it still was messed up. I'm sorry if I upset you, you know, hey, it's all right I just promise dude. I'm never gonna online date again And if I do literally just punch me in the face like as hard as you can just make me stop being so dumb Yeah, I can do that dude All right, man. Let's just figure out something to do today. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we should just stay in I just feel like sketched out going out in public right now. Yeah, fair enough. All right Well, maybe we can find a movie or something later on or maybe we can cook outside. Yeah, dude, whatever you want to do It sounds good to me Yeah, Kobe, I met this really creepy girl online. It was strange. Yeah, man, well, you shouldn't be online dating as it is. I know, I'm definitely not going to. She was just weird and, like, she just wouldn't stop bothering me and I didn't say anything to her. All of a sudden, she just kept messaging me and messaging me and it freaked me out. We literally didn't say anything. Yeah, well, as long as you didn't give her any personal information, yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, there's no way she could have known who I was. She was probably just somebody, like, trying to scam me or something, that's all. Yeah, of course, you gotta be careful. You should never, ever, ever date people online. Never. Ever. Just don't do it. I know. I know. I'm not going to I was just being stupid in the moment and that's all it was Ah, good. That's good. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know I've sort of felt like I've had like somebody watching me or something though. I just have this bad feeling Hey, man, you just need to relax. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Yeah, you're right. But hey, dude It's getting late. I'm gonna head home. All right, cool, man I'm gonna hang out here for a while and just chill out. All right. Sounds good. Have a good night. such a long day today but at least i'm gonna have pizza for dinner tonight that's gonna be great wait what's going on my computer keeps going off I just keep getting tons of messages it's that penelope person again i don't understand why she keeps messaging me i've never even spoken to her one time something's weird she says i see you i see you over and over again all right this is really scary Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? I just need to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. <sighs> Alright, I gotta go to work anyway. I'm just gonna head out. Oh 
I'm so glad I get a break. I mean, wait a minute, Penelope? Hey, Taylor! <laughs> I'm so excited to see you! What are you doing here at my work? How did you find me? I've never even responded to you. This is really scary. What? Are you saying you didn't get all the messages I sent you? But I sent you like a ton of them! Yeah, I got the messages. They were really creepy. You need to leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. What? Don't call me creepy! I am not creepy at all! Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but can you please just leave me alone? I, I just want to be left alone. This is really too much. What? Just leave you alone? Oh, 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 okay. I guess I'll leave you alone. All right, cool. Thanks. Gosh, that was weird. So the last of the cameras are installed now. Wow, man, you really feel that unsafe? Yeah, it was so weird. I don't want her to come in and steal any of my stuff or anything. I'm really sorry things went so weird like that. I mean, that's why you should never ever online date. I know, I know, and I definitely know that that's not a good thing to do. But anyway, ugh, I don't know. Maybe she won't bother me anymore. Well, I'm glad you got the cameras then. Now all you need to do is put an alarm system. Maybe you should go to the police. Well, I can't really. I don't know anything about her. I don't even know if she has her real name. I think she's trying to scam me or something. She's got to be trying to, like, steal my money or, I don't know, get me fired from my job or something. I don't know. Well, I could crash here tonight if you want me to. I mean, uh, you got, like, all this extra room anyway. No, don't worry about it, man. It's gonna be okay. Uh, are you sure? I don't mind. No, it's okay. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bother you. Alright, yeah, no worries, man. Well, hopefully the cameras pick up whatever ends up happening. Yeah, I'm sure that they will. I bet you I'll be fine. Oh man, my computer keeps going off. What is this? Is Penelope still messaging me? Oh no, it's the security cameras. It's an alert. What is going on? She's been in my house. Wait, she's behind me. Penelope, what do you want? Hello? Anybody there? Please, let me out of here. What is going on? We can talk about this. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> I'm so excited, Taylor. But guess what? I'm never going to let you out of here. Nope, not ever. What? Why? What are you doing this for? This doesn't make any sense. You don't even know me. Mm, well, you're kind of right. I know that you're rich and I'm a criminal. So I want to steal all of your money. <laughs> so you never wanted to be my friend? You just wanted to scam me for all my money? Mm, yep, yep, pretty much. That's about it. Come on, please. I don't even care about the money. Just let me go. Don't ruin my life for no reason. Aw, oh, come on, but it's so fun. And plus, I'm gonna get rich at the end. Isn't that what everyone wants? No, no one wants that. Please, just let me out. Hmm, you drive an interesting argument here, but uh, yeah, nope, nope, not gonna happen. I'm gonna take your money and I'm gonna go commit just a few more crimes. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun, don't you think? No, this is terrible. Let me out! Hey, Taylor, you home? Taylor! Taylor! Huh, that's weird. I haven't seen him at all. Taylor, are you there? Oh, looks like there's someone's bag here. Oh my gosh, what if it's that girl that's been bothering him? Oh, I hope he's okay. Let me see if she's got some ID. Okay, it says Penelope. All right, um... Oh, how do I find out more about her? Well, I could Google her. Okay. Oh. My. Gosh. She's the escaped prisoner. 
Oh, I, re I remember seeing this on the news. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. She's super evil. She likes to steal everybody's money. Oh my gosh, how could Taylor have gotten himself into this mess? She must have taken him so that she could find a way to steal his money or something. Oh no. Oh, this isn't good. Well, I guess I gotta go to the jail and talk to somebody. Maybe they can find him. I just hope that everything's okay before she steals more and then gets away with it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Hey, sir, thanks for meeting me. Yeah, sure, of course, no problem. We've been looking for Penelope for quite some time. She's incredibly good at being a criminal. It's it's honestly very frustrating. I think my friend might have been taken by her. Uh, I noticed that a few of his things were missing, and I haven't seen him anywhere. And there's video evidence of her taking him out of the house. He installed cameras and everything. Well, that's great that we finally have some video footage of this. We might be able to track her down. Does he have cameras on the outside of his house? I don't know. I know he just put them on the inside. I don't know anything about the outside. Hmm. Well, this is kind of frustrating. We've been looking all over the place. I mean, we know that she used to have this old criminal base. It was like a little cabin out in the woods, but we had already checked there. That's where she was arrested the first time. I don't know if she'd go back there. Yeah, well, I mean, you sure you checked it recently? Well, no, we checked it as soon as she broke out, like a month ago. Well, then maybe she could be there. I guess, I don't know. She's pretty smart, though. I don't know if she'd go there if she knows that we know where it is. Or maybe that's exactly what she wants you to think, so that she could go and hide in plain sight. Well, look, you're welcome to go check it out if you want. I can't send any of my guys down there unless we have hard evidence that she's in the area. Okay, fine. I'll let you know if I find anything. Can you at least let me know where it is? Yeah, sure. On your way out, I'll have somebody give you directions. Okay, thank you. Look at this old place, it's disgusting. Okay, Taylor. Taylor, are you around here anywhere? Oh, I don't see him. Oh, there's not really a lot of room to keep somebody in here either. But it does seem like somebody might have been here. I mean, the light's on, that's a sign, right? Maybe she has been around here. I don't know. What is this? This looks like some kind of secret entrance. Maybe it goes to a basement or something. Hello? Taylor? Taylor? Kobe, is that you? Oh my gosh, Taylor! Taylor! Oh my gosh, let me out of here! Okay, okay, come on, come on, come out! How did you find me? What is going on? Taylor, that person that you met online, um, turns out she was an escaped criminal and she's like a mastermind at stealing money. Yeah, I know. She told me all about it. I didn't know she was an escaped criminal though. Yeah, yeah. She's like really good. She's usually a jewelry thief, but lately she's been stealing people's money and identities. She's probably taken everything that you have. My gosh, that's not good. I hope that they can find her. Well, I mean, the good thing is, is that we found you. So that's going to lead us to her, I'm sure. How did you find all this out? Well, all I had to do was Google her. And then I found out that she was like in all these headlines. So I went and I talked to her caseworker at the prison and they had been looking for her for like a month. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Yeah, well, why don't we get out of here? You can come stay with me for a little while until they catch her. Great, that sounds good. I think we go right to the police station, tell them everything. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm finally allowed to be back in my house. Yeah, that's right. Thanks to you. We were able to finally find Penelope and arrest her. She had already gone to a bunch of jewelry stores and stolen all of the diamonds. Honestly, I I'm really surprised that we caught her at all. You're lucky you have a good friend. Yeah, I am too. I, I can't believe that. She was just going to take everything that I had and just run away and leave me down there. Yeah, she's a terrible, terrible person. I can't believe that she would do something like that either. Well, actually, yes, I can because that's kind of what she does. 
Oh, well, thank you guys so much for finding her. I mean, this has been so unbelievably stressful. I can't thank you enough. Well, I'm glad that you had those security cameras. At least we could identify that she was still in your house. Yeah, of course. And I'm definitely going to get myself like a full on security system moving forward. Well, that's probably a good idea, but you don't have to worry about any of that anymore. We finally arrested her and she's going to go back to jail for a very, very long time. Oh, that's great news. I'm really excited about that. I mean, I'm sorry that she has to go to jail, but at the same time, she's done so many mean things to people. She deserves it. Of course she deserves it. But don't worry. She's going to a place where she'll never be able to get out. Everybody knows that online dating is bad. Online dating can ruin people's lives. And Corey had to find that out the hard way. You never know who you're talking to online. The person might not be what they seem. Or even worse, they could be a gold digger. This is the sad truth about online daters. so perfect I can't believe this but I think I'm falling in love oh, she's so great I wish I knew her in real life hey Corey are you ready for school yeah hold on I'm just getting finished up real quick what are you doing nothing I'm not doing anything you are really bad at lying tell me right now I was just talking to my girlfriend Julie that's all your girlfriend are you online dating no, no, I wasn't online dating. Do you have any idea how bad it is, how scary it is to just reach out to somebody online like that? Well, you don't know Julie, she's different. I'm in love with her. You think you're in love with her, but have you even met her yet? I don't need to meet her. I know who she is. She's perfect. Yeah, yeah. All right, Corey, listen, you better cut it out because you could get in a lot of trouble. Well, it's none of your business. I'm in love. You just don't like to see me happy. That's not true at all. I'm your older brother. Of course I want you to be happy. You know what? I don't have time for this. Fine, whatever. Hey, Ryan, what's going on, man? Oh, hey, Corey. Um, not much. I'm just getting ready for chemistry class, getting all my books together. What are you doing? Oh, not much. Just trying to get through the day. I just want to get home so I can talk to Julie online. So you can talk to Julie online? Who's Julie? Julie's my new girlfriend. I didn't tell you about her. Uh, no, you didn't tell me that you had an online girlfriend. Well, she's soon to be online. I got to meet her soon. Corey, listen, I'm your best friend. I want you to be careful. Like, this could be really weird. You never know who you're talking to online. Oh, why does everybody keep saying that? Nobody knows Julie like I know her. But dude, you haven't even met her, have you? Like, you, then you don't know her at all. What if she's somebody scary? Or worse, what if she's like a gold digger? Don't call her that! She's not! She's not a gold digger! She's my girlfriend, and she's gonna love me just like she does when we talk online. Gosh, I knew you wouldn't understand, Ryan. Hey, I'm sorry, Corey. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm just worried, that's all. I just want you to be safe. I'll be fine. I'm gonna meet her tonight, and then we're gonna fall in love, and you're gonna meet her because we're gonna hang out all the time, and it's gonna be awesome. Just you wait. Well, okay. I, I hope she's as nice as you say she is. She's perfect. This is really weird. Julie didn't tell me she lived in a creepy cabin. Oh, I wonder if she's home. Julie! 
Hey, it's me, Julie! Huh, okay. Well, the door's open. Maybe she wants me to come inside. Maybe she's still getting ready. Julie? Hey, Julie, you there? Oh, this is so strange. Well, she's not in here. Oh, hmm. I wonder if this is even her house. This is strange. Oh, wait, look, here's a note. Sorry, babe, something came up. Have to go. Meet me at 100 Blocksburg Drive tomorrow at the same time. Oh, I think that's the pizza place. Perfect, she knows I love pizza. But this is kind of weird. This doesn't even seem like our house. Why would she do this? Oh, I better go home and see if she's online later, and I can figure it out. She's online now. Uh, Julie, Julie, you there? Corey, what do you think you're doing? Oh my gosh, why do you keep bothering me, Chris? Why don't you listen to me? You need to stop online dating this random Julie girl. I knew that you wouldn't understand either. Why does everybody keep doing this to me? I'm in love for the first time in my life. She's perfect. Why don't you care about that? Dude, you have yet to meet this girl. You have no idea what she's like in real life. I don't need to meet her. I know that I love her. And don't worry, I'm gonna meet her soon. Tomorrow night, we're gonna have our first date and it's gonna be the most beautiful time in the whole world. I thought your first date with her was supposed to be tonight. Yeah, well, she got busy, okay? So she couldn't hang out. She left me a note at her place. I found the note, and then I just came home. That's all. Yeah, okay. And you're still not going to listen to me, are you? You're going to go meet this random girl, aren't you? Yeah, I need to give it a shot. I mean, what Julie and I have is special. And you wouldn't know that, Chris, because you don't have a girlfriend. Really, Corey? Wow. You know what? I don't care anymore. Do whatever you want, but you're gonna regret this. Yeah, whatever, man. You don't know anything. Me and Julie are gonna fall in love and get married someday. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Julia, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I found you. Hey, yeah, it's nice to finally meet you too. Hey, so that was really weird that you left me that note yesterday. Was that your house? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I wasn't able to make it. And that was my grandmother's house anyway. Oh, okay. Why, why did you have me go to your grandmother's house? Uh, because that's where I'm living right now, all right? Oh, okay. Well... Oh, Julia, I've been waiting so long to meet you. It's been so awesome talking online. I can't believe you're really here in person. Well, yeah, of course I'm here in person. Julia, I love you so much. I know that we just met, but I just look so forward to talking to you every single day. You make everything better. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, I like talking to you too. Um, but you know what? If you really love me, you would buy me a pizza. I'm starving. And plus, I really want to go to the Ferris wheel. You'll take me, right? Yeah, definitely. Anything you want, Julia. Cool. Thanks. Julia, this is such a beautiful night. This is everything that I hoped it would be. Yeah, it's really beautiful out. Not as beautiful as you. Julia, I am crazy about you. I'm seriously, seriously in love with you. And to think, nobody thought that online dating would be good. Yeah, I really love you too. And for anyone who says that online dating isn't any good, they don't know what they're talking about. This is true love, and they're just jealous of that. And you know what? You should never talk to people who make you feel bad or guilty for doing anything. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, 
But what about my brother, Chris? He didn't want us to meet at all. What? Ugh, well, that's not right. You know, if you keep talking to those people, and if you keep hanging out with your brother, I might have to break up with you. I mean, how can these people tell you that you can't love me? Oh man, Julia. It makes me so sad. But maybe you're right. I mean, we can't let people be negative about our relationship, right? Yeah, not at all. And plus, relationship and love is all about positive things. And you know what? Speaking of which, I think it'd be really awesome and it would really mean a lot to me if you bought me a new car. A new car? Julia, I don't know if I have enough money for a car. Those are expensive. Well, I mean, don't your parents have enough money? You could probably take it from your mom. The steal from my mom? I don't know, that seems wrong, doesn't it? Well, obviously, you just don't love me then. Julia, wait! Oh man, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. This isn't good. Oh, but it's for Julie. And if Julie loves me this much, I have to show her I love her too. What are you doing, Corey? I'm not supposed to talk to you anymore, Chris. You're not supposed to talk to me? What? What? Julie said that everybody who doesn't want us to be together is a bad influence on me. And she doesn't want me talking to anybody who doesn't support us. And you never support oh. us. <laughs> wow, you have got to be kidding me. Are you serious? You questioned our love from the start. Corey, dude, you are being manipulated. Can't you see that? No, I'm not. Julie wouldn't do that to me. All I want to do is what's best for me and her. Oh, really? So what are you doing now? Are you breaking into mom's room to steal some of her jewelry to give to her? No, I'm not taking jewelry. Then why are you going in mom's room? I don't need jewelry. What would I do with jewelry? I can't buy anything with jewelry. Oh, so you're after money, huh? Why don't you just leave me alone? It's none of your business what I'm after or what I'm trying to do. You know what, dude? You're right. It's none of my business what you do with your life. Good luck with everything. Yeah, and for the record, I'm not stealing from mom, okay? So don't go telling anybody. Look at all these great cars. Hmm, which one should I get? Uh, I don't know. Maybe one that's not too expensive. I don't want to waste all my mom's money. Well, don't you want me to have nice things? I mean, if you love me, you'll get me the car I want. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're right, Julia. You're right. I'm sorry. Get whatever you want. It's totally fine. All right, awesome. Ooh, hmm. I think I like this one. Whoa, this one's really expensive. Yeah, but you'll buy it for me anyways. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let's buy the car. So, Julia, what do you want to do now? Um, well, you know, I've been thinking and I really don't think this is going to work out. Wait, Julia, what do you mean this isn't going to work out? I just bought you this car. Yeah. I mean, thanks and everything, but I don't really like you to begin with. And I think you're kind of a creep. But you told me that you love me. You said we were going to be together. Why would you do this to me? Well, I needed a new car, and you seemed stupid enough to buy me one. Julia, are you a gold digger? A gold digger? <laughs> yeah, you can be the judge of that. See ya. Julia, no! <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Oh, this is so bad. Why, Julie? Why? Why would you do this to me? Oh, no. Corey, what's going on? 
Oh, you're never gonna believe what happened. You were right. You were right, Chris. I was right? Right about what? Everything from the start. Julie really was a gold digger. And I got myself in some serious trouble. You got yourself into trouble? What did you do? Well, she said I'd only love her if I bought her a car. So, I didn't have the money for the Jeep that she wanted. So I stole the money out of mom's dresser to buy her the Jeep. Because I thought I could pay her back before she'd know. Are you serious, Corey? Yeah, I did it. I can't believe I did it. I betrayed mom. And the worst part is, is as soon as I bought the Jeep for Julie, she told me she didn't love me and she drove away in the Jeep. Wow, Corey. Do you have any idea what that money was for? That money is for the house payment. And if mom can't make the payment, we lose the house. No, we're going to lose our house because of me. No, why would Julie do this? Because you're a fool, Corey. I told you time and time again to not online date random people. And look at what happened because you wouldn't listen to me. Oh, no. How can I fix this? We can't lose our home. I don't think there's anything you can do to fix this, Corey. I think this whole online dating thing has officially ruined our lives. <laughs>